with Sally Mott at MSR, about 30 miles south of Houston, 2.38 mile road course. And Sally's getting ready to race. This, is this, this going to be a NASA race, Sally? Yes, it is. Is this your first NASA race? Yes, it is. Okay, so racing with the big guys and girls for the very first time down here. Okay, so this was your first test day on this track. And it seems like you were putting in some pretty impressive times, competitive times. What did you think about the track? Um, I love the track. I think it's very technical and also flowy at the same time. But, I mean, it's really fast and smooth. Well, there's some bumps, but I honestly, I like it because you have to really work it. And um, I really enjoy the track. It's a lot of fun. and now having to deal with an H pattern and heel and toe and double clutching and downshift. Has the transition been difficult for you? Um, not really because I drive a Miata street car every single day, so I'm practicing shifting, heel towing. Um, so I got it down pretty well. Um, I actually, I really like it. I mean, I think I, think I like it more than carts. Um, but to answer your question, no, I, I think I got it pretty down pretty good. the transition but you seem to have with your previous races up at Harris Hill up in the hill country you seem to acclimate it made the transition pretty well uh, you, you, what is the difference in driving the cart racing the cart versus racing a car well I'd say um, a car has more suspension and roll body so there's definitely that to consider whenever you're driving with people and also um, in a cart the bumper is right at your toes literally it's at the edge of your feet and in a car you have a lot more so there's that to get used to when passing people bump drafting you have to get used to having the car like you have the front and the back and you also have the sides you have to be aware of everything around you so 
Um, there's a lot more that goes into it, but at the same time, it's still racing and you're still, it's still you, the machine, and the racetrack. best place to start for anyone who wants to be a professional race car driver. I mean, if you look at the F1 drivers, they all started in karting. It's just the best foundation to start. I mean, even though there's no suspension, that's what the next level for, the, that's what Miata is, that's the next level. And the more that you add on to it, the better you get. But karting for sure is the best foundation in my opinion. Just real short, uh, Super Sally, what is your season going to look like, the schedule? How many races you think you're going to run this year? Um, we're gonna try to run at least one every month. Harris Hill is about, I think it's the second week of every month. And then we're gonna fit in some uh, NASA races, possibly an SCCA. Um, 
it's going to be pretty busy. Um, and we might even do some karting races because I, I really miss it. Well, you're, you're a double champion in 2022, Rookie of the Year in 20 or 21, I believe it was. Yes. You were Rookie of the Year. And last year, you were a double champion. You won the uh, West Houston Championship, the, the, the Spring Series, and then the uh, East Houston Championship at Speed Sports. You're the double champion in karting. Congratulations. Thank you. She's Super Sally Mott out of Victoria, Texas. Victoria, Texas is a own hometown grown girl. And um, for sponsorship for Sally, money well spent for marketing and exposure for your corporation or even as an individual she has many options for you just go to sallymottracing.com this is the miata that she runs it's a beautiful automobile uh, of course being tutored and uh, structured and shaped and molded by her multinational karting champion father robbie mott so Get in contact with Sally through her website if you'd like to be a sponsor. You're more than welcome, invited to come to any event. Just let Sally know and she'll be happy to assist you in attending and watching this future global superstar develop into what we all know she can and will be.